So there you go, uh, component events. This is going to be just a lightning talk. I'm going to be introducing this uh, extension, and then I'm going to move on to uh, the Nitro framework, which uh, which uh, can make use of this. This is actually uh, use cases uh, when developing websites with the Nitro framework. Uh, are uh, the reason I developed component events. Component events, you can you can get it at, uh, uh, from Composer, obviously, and you can uh, install. You can check out the the repository on GitHub. Uh, component events is a very small uh, uh, package, which just does one thing: uh, you install it. You, you you register it in uh, your uh, uh, configuration and that's it you don't have to do anything else to make it work and uh, it starts working out of the box it, it integrates existing uh, event dispatches that it finds in your dependence injection container with uh, nete components because uh, nete components as you know are created lazily which means that when one component is for instance handling a signal uh, other components may not yet have been created. So if that component does something uh, which results in, a, in an event being fired in the event dispatcher, then uh, the other components can't react to it because they don't exist yet. And uh, the component events uh, extension uh, is, um, has been created to, to, to bridge that gap. It, 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 uh, statically analyzes when the, when the DI co uh, container is being built. It statically analyzes your components because, uh, as you know, components are uh, created by factories on uh, presenters or their parent components, and those can be statically analyzed. So the whole component tree can be statically analyzed. So it's easy to find out which components, even though it's uh, in the in the DI uh, uh, compiling phase, and there's no presenter yet, nothing. But it's easy to to analyze which components implement certain interfaces, like for instance the Symphony uh, event subscriber interface or the Doctrine uh, event subscriber interface. And uh, when you can analyze that, then you can. Uh, uh, analyze uh, which events those components would like to subscribe to uh, and put together a little bit of magic. And uh, then when um, an event is being dispatched from the event dispatcher, which one of those components would have liked to subscribe to, uh, the, uh, the component events bridge will create that component lazily and forward the event to it so that, that that's really it there's there's nothing more it's there's uh check out the check out the github page it's uh, all explained there but there's a couple of caveats that i thought i would mention here one of them is with the symphony integration because uh, if uh, not, not not symphony itself but if you use the uh, contribute a uh, event dispatcher wrapper uh uh, this uh, wrapper uh, automatically registers all classes in the DI container, which uh, which implement the event subscriber interface. And so, if you want your presenters to be uh, event subscribers, then uh, the the contribute a wrapper will uh, auto subscribe them, and uh, that means that even uh, when they're like all presenters, if if you had more than one presenter subscribing to a given event and the event is fired, then even though uh, just one of those presenters might, or, or even none of those presenters might be the current presenter, all of them will be created and all of them will receive the event, which is probably not something that you want to do. But since the Contribute uh, wrapper only does that, on top of what Symfony Event Dispatcher all, already does, I mean, there's I think there's some kind of a a lazy implementation as well in the contributing wrapper but uh, other than that uh, you can uh, use the symphony package directly without the wrapper because all you need to do to get events working uh, the regular event listeners is 
uh, register one service in your in your uh, uh, configuration, and then it will work. And uh, the the uh, uh, the component events integration will then also work with presenters. Otherwise, if you if you don't need to uh, have presenters be event subscribers, then you can just as well use the Contribute uh, integration. It will make all your services, which are event subscribers, automatically subscribe, which is nice. So it really depends on what you need to use. Maybe in the future, we'll work it out with the guys so that uh, you can exclude presenters from uh, the automatic registration via uh, the contributors integration. And then the component events extension will natively work together with contributors wrapper with for presenters as well as components and uh, uh, the why of uh, why would components want to listen to events uh, is something that will uh, get back to uh, during the talk about the nitro framework but to 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 put it shortly because if you're building um if you're building an, an ajax powered website no matter the front end framework that you use for that uh, sometimes components need to react to stuff that happens in other components because uh, they might need to redraw their snippets or something. So, so that that's basically the the, the reason. Uh, component events currently integrates out of the box, as I've said, with Symfony Event Dispatcher and its wrapper contributor Event Dispatcher. It uh, also integrates with Doctrine Event Manager, which I'm not sure there is a wrapper for, but uh, if, even if there is, it just needs to uh, register a class uh, or a descendant, the, the the Event Manager class or its descendant in the DIC, and it should work just as well. And it also integrates with uh, the Nextras ORM events. Uh, that one also uh, uh, ha has a bit of a, an issue because normally with uh, Nextras ORM events, you would uh, register your listeners uh, using annotations on the entity class itself like this. And uh, if you do that, then the ORM uh, events package will similarly to the Symfony package, automatically register those listeners when the DI container is being built, which means that uh, as soon as the, uh, the uh, repository class for this uh, entity is created, uh, the service uh, is, is uh, extracted from the container, all the listeners will be created as well, which is something that you don't want with components because you want components to be lazy. So in order to get around that, all you need to do is move this annotation from the entity to the component that wants to be a listener for uh, the specific event. That's it. Everything else remains the same because you would already have implemented the interface by the components. You would already be doing all this. The only thing you need to do extra for uh, uh, integrating an extra ORM events with component events is move the annotation from here to here. That's it. And oh yeah, obviously, uh, in uh, in the case when you're using the uh, the original uh, event uh, listener annotations, you would put the the name of the class that is the listener in the annotation. With uh, component events, is the other way around because you're putting the annotation on the class that's supposed to be the listener, but there is no way it would know what which entity it then wants to be subscribed to. So, so you would put the entity class in there instead of the component class or listener class. And of course, uh, this is all done in a manner which should be easily extensible. There's three. There are three interfaces which uh, uh, you can implement to integrate with any other dispatcher uh, out there, as long as it's uh, uh, statically. Uh, as, as long as it's possibly, uh, possible to statically analyze uh, the subscribers. Uh, if, if, you, if, you, uh, if there is a, an integration with uh, popular, uh, uh, a popular event dispatcher framework missing that I should know about, feel free to let me know in the, in the issue section of component events or reach out via, I don't know, Twitter, whatever really 
wherever you can find me uh, and and I'll obviously see about getting it implemented or or, or just send me a pull request and I'll, and I'll merge it right away. I think that's about it for component events from me. Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is <clears throat> uh, something that there is going to be a lot of questions about, but let's let's hear it. If, if you guys have any questions f about component events now, then now's the time to ask them and uh, then we'll move on to Nitro. Uh, 